Since a little boy, I always believed in my heart that there was nothing impossible. But the Spirit of the Most High, our God, and for years, since about 1972, I've talked about coming to Ghana to work with the Tootsie Fly and sleeping blindness. I talked about it when I had my Project Out talking book and in the visions. I've talked about Ghana throughout my years. And for now, over, over 50 years, I've talked about being a citizen in this country. The truth is, I'm committed to as now a Ghanaian citizen, being a part of fulfilling the dream that we've had for so many years of bringing people of Africa, those of the diaspora, the United States, Caribbean, all of the people together. Because as I said, and I've said for many years, the only way the world will come together is that we unite as a united people of the world. <clears throat> so living in America, I started, but I'm not done. I'm here to, to do this, to bring us together, all people of all nations, because I know that we are the original people of the planet. So it is only So it is only fitting for us to bring our children together. All of them. All of the colors and all that. Of which I've never seen the colors, but I've seen the colors of people, their hearts. And I'm wanting I'm wanting us to come together as one people. It's not impossible. As I did believe there would be someday a national holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King, I too believe that we will have a united people of the world. Mr. President, I thank you for your heart, for understanding that the only way that the world can move forward is that we come together as one piece to do so. I celebrate that spirit. What is unfortunate is that too many people are too blind to see it. But I, with complete inner visions, I know that it is just a heartbeat away. I thank you. Since 2019, more than 300 African Americans have located or relocated to Ghana. Ghana has played a lot of significant uh, role uh, in uniting African Americans, Black Americans to Africa. And uh, we understand Ghana was one of the countries where a lot of slaves came from. Uh, Ghana was the gateway of Africa. You know the story. If you don't know the story, we'll talk about it some other day. Now, uh, Ghana is one of the countries in Africa that gives citizenship to black Americans. Now, in recent uh, occasion, uh, Steve Wanda, American uh, singer who is a black American, uh, get his or got his uh, Ghanaian citizenship, uh, which was presented to him but none other than the Honorable President Nana Akofu Ado himself. This shows me how Ghanaian President Nana Akofu Ado is so deep in this uniting or bringing back the black Americans or African Americans who want to come back to their roots, who want to trace their roots or who want to come, to come back to motherland. Ghana was the gateway of Africa and, will be, and it is the gateway of Africans coming back, you know. In a gate we have out and in. So it was the gateway of Africans going through slavery was the gateway of Africans coming back to Africa. Now, 
Oh, this shows me a lot. And um, on the other hand, um, it's, it's, it will be good to the economy of Ghana because, for example, Steve Wanda has promised to create a lot of jobs uh, on youths, on Ghanaian youths, uh, because um, we understand if maybe you are African American, uh, somehow you have the capability of creating something, or somehow you, you have the capability of investing in eh, your country. For example, eh, Steve Wanta wants to invest in Ghana. I love the fact that eh, the president eh, himself was there. He knows what he is chasing. I'm looking forward for more African president to do that. I'm looking forward for more for Nigerian more African president to you know to hold tight on this issue of reuniting Africans to uh, and Black Americans because I understand when they come back or when Black Americans come back to Africa uh, and when we unite together we'll be so much strong and we will conquer a lot of you know issues because uh, they have a lot of knowledge. They have a, a lot of, you know, manpower. They have maybe a, a lot of, uh, they can invest in that in, in, the, in the country. So it's, it's a plus. It's a plus. So I'm very happy that uh, Nana Akofu, uh, he is embracing uh, the, 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 the issue of reuniting. And uh, more of Ghanaians too have seen Wodemeyer doing his job uh, very good. So I'm looking forward for more and more uh, uh, African Americans to come to you know to Africa, more so Ghana, Nigeria, West Africa. You know, home is home. Uh, but uh, some Black Americans they don't want to come back. Some Black Americans they they they, they, are, they have already been you know uh, brainwashed and they don't see Africa as a good place. But for those African Americans who are in Africa, who are in Ghana and some other places, please uh, tell us on the comment section there. What is your experience here in Africa? What is your experience in Africa? Do you recommend a lot of African Americans coming back? Do you recommend, do you see Africa as, as a bright future? What do you see? Because for me, I believe that if you come back here and make good use of the resources back here, we will be great again. Africa will be great again because one cannot, but if we believe, if we are two Africans and black Americans, and African Americans, if we unite, we can beat this one. So, uh, Steve Wanda has officially become a citizenship or a citizen of Ghana. He was hand handed a citizenship by the president himself, Nana Akofu Ado. Wow, that's amazing. Tell me what you think in the comment section uh, about this. Uh, occasion now since 2019 more than 300 people african americans have come back uh, we are looking forward for more and more to trace their roots back to africa tell me what you think on the comment section but for me i'm happy the pan-africanism and the africanism thing we are doing and this content we are making it's not going at waste everything every day things are changing and one of these days africans will work Thank you so much. I am the Kenyan beast. Of course, come with me. Let's roll the African way. Ghana all the way.